Hey Internet, welcome back to the Easy Riding Channel. I'm Zach. And I'm Emma. We are going on an adventure. Today we're headed out to Karchner Caverns, the campground there. there. We're actually going for our anniversary, which has been, what, at least two years, Emma? Aw, it doesn't work if you don't hear my jokes. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't hear whatever you said. <laughs> <clears throat> We're headed out to Karchner Caverns, which is a uh, cave system out here in Arizona. One that Emma has wanted to go to for a very long, long, long time. Yes. It's, uh, Celebrating 18 years married, although we've been together for 20, 26, 27, no, 26. Yeah, there's a couple cave systems in Arizona, and for our first anniversary, we went to Colossal Cave, which is down close to Tucson. Archner Caverns is in Benson, Arizona, which is actually really pretty close to the border. This is also a uh, first real test of a long time in the Russell Daylong seat. We've had, you know, a number of rides around town and, and whatnot, even some as much as maybe an hour, but uh, it's about a three hour ride down to Benson. And then tomorrow we've actually got probably six hours in the saddle, so. Staying in overnight in a campground at Karcher. Caverns, they have some campgrounds down there. We're no stranger to camping. We've been camping a lot. We usually go with Zach's parents or other friends and family, and we tend to camp. So we're more used to taking a truck or a, another vehicle. And this is our first time just taking the motorcycle. We've been referencing this to ourselves as moto camping, although. The campground is all paved and it, we're not going, you know, out in the bush anywhere. This is going to be pretty, pretty simple as far as camping goes. But uh, the, I guess the real test of it is just actually packing it all onto the motorcycle because for the rest of it, we don't have to like crawl through uh, any dirt roads or anything to get to the campsite. In fact, I think the, uh, the, the camping spot itself has a uh, paved parking just one night so and Zach and I have both been backpacking before so we're not unfamiliar either with packing light and packing more for like a backpacking trip which is kind of what this felt like to pack up the saddlebags and we also have a tea bag which is a motorcycle specific luggage that sits on the back of the luggage rack and hooks over my backrest yeah, this, uh, the, the weight isn't so much a concern, especially on this motorcycle, but the, uh, packing small is really key. Yeah. We have a little pup tent, a little triangle, like, Boy Scout tent that our son uses. That'll fit both of us. You know, a single sleeping bag each and a mess kit that holds two plates and all of our stuff that we need. Packing really late. Zach won the lottery with me. I'm not a complicated girl. I sure did. Arizona has a lot of funny names for things. One of the funny names is Pikachu Peak, which is a mountain, little mountainy hill thing over here on the right. A lot of people pronounce it Pikachu, but it's not. It's Pikachu. You can go hike some trails and do some rock climbing in that area.
go find our campsite. Can't technically check in until 2 o'clock, or at least that's what it said on the website, but we're gonna go see if we can check in and drop some stuff off before heading over to the cavern for our tour. You can't record anything at Karchner Caverns. You can't take any photography or videography or anything like that inside the caves. You can probably take some photography and stuff out around like the visitor center. So we'll show you what we can, but we won't be able to show you anything of the inside of the cave. Karchner. Time to go investigate a cave. snack shack yeah basically a little snack shack but we got some um tamales and i got a turkey and swiss sandwich and stuff like that so if you come down here expecting to get some lunch from the location either pack a lunch or um be okay with just be aware your choices are limited snack foods kind of a thing take some more video of the grounds for you guys but we're in this little covered patio area. So we've just finished our tour of the Karchner Cape. As you can see it was very humid, my hair's back to being curly again. It's definitely a wet cave, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. A lot of fun. Very some very cool uh, structures and, and growths in there, yeah. Very, very neat. The Discovery Center was good too. It had lots of information and things to discover, not only about the cave itself, but about the animals and flora and fauna that are native to this area. It was a lot of fun. I suggest it. Right, away from the cavern to the campground. We'll see what kind of mischief we can get into over there. 
Made it to our campground. Let's see what we got. May have made it undisturbed. Just a little bench, fire pit, a couple of good spots for tents. I think we're gonna go over here. All right, Emma, what do we got? Home for tonight. Little pup tent, two sleeping bags. Mine obviously goes down colder, because I'm cold. Let's see what else we can get up to. Well, we learned a couple of things about Karchner. We learned that the two guys who discovered it fell into it. They found a sinkhole, and that's how they First ended up in it. Back in 80, 88? Or was that uh, when they... I don't remember the year he said. When it became a, a thing. Because for a long time they kept the secret of the cave and they called it Xanadu as their code word. It's the first cave to be built with ADA compliance in mind, yeah. with uh, wheelchair accessibility for the whole tour. It, uh, they taken great pains to make sure that no, as little as can be managed, uh, human intrusion into the cave continues, uh, and still allowing it to be, you know, a commercially accessible cave. They've got uh, curved pathways for the entire tour that they spray down every night, every week, something like that, to remove all the dust and lint of the walk. You actually get misted uh, as you enter to make sure that you're not changing the humidity level by drawing moisture out of the air into your clothing and whatnot. So you, as you enter, you get misted. They have uh, refrigerator doors, so they almost work like a uh section points or airlocks so you all walk into one room before opening and close the door behind you before opening the door to the next room. Everybody enters that room, closes the previous door before opening another door. So it's all very well preserved it appeared anyway. So it was cool. Yeah.
great pains to walk in single file lines and to make sure that they left as little of themselves in the cave as possible. But now we are going to find a grocery store. My cow! That's a single <laughs> cow. You can't -uh. claim a single -uh. cow. There's more than one no, cow I'm there. See? <laughs> more than one cow. They are my cows. Sorry. <laughs> We'll explain my cows later, but those were mine. We're going to back to town into Benson to find some food so we can cook some dinner for ourselves. And um, we're still not 100% about whether or not we're going to bring bring something back to cook at the campsite or find dinner in Benson or what. We're going to go see go see what we can find. We definitely need to find some water. <laughs> On road trips, most people have some form of entertaining themselves. When you're in a cage, it's easy to break out a DVD player or a book or different things like that. Some people do crossword puzzles or read. We usually give our kids scavenger hunts or play the license plate alphabet game or stuff like that. Which but is really hard to do when you're sitting on the saddlebags. Yeah. <laughs> have some fun road games let us know down in the comments no more cows Aww. uh let's see i was kind of hoping we'd just spot the main drag but right i might have to pull off and look it up Play some cards. I'm gonna go win. No, I win. I don't know. Well, 
Made some fire. Found some dinner. Can't really see Mav too well. So we're gonna hang out by the fire for a little while and see how it goes. Dinner's been had, games have been played, fire's out, it's time for bed. Camping number one. <laughs> it's pretty fun. I suggest it. I also suggest the uh, Karchner campgrounds and the, the cavern. Both of them were great. So, um, till next time. Thanks for a good ride. Wait. No. Oh, I did it wrong. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> till next time. Thanks for a beautiful ride.